N4 H and H here. I've got the phone turned vertical because I want to make sure we can get some stereo separation here. Uh, the SM5000, um, you know, the left speaker uh, is VFO A. If you're using both VFOs, uh, and the right speaker is VFO B. If you're not using both receivers at the same time, uh, there's some really neat stuff that happens with these speakers. Uh, can do something called phase reversal. I've covered this in in uh, uh, detail in a previous video about the SM5000. One about the audio tapering and uh, and effects, and the other one about the band scale. So there's a there strong station. Um, check in today. I want to see if we can get a weak one okay, here. Okay. Uh, um, one a minute ago. Well, let's see. Did we have VE3KRX do one? I can't remember. I didn't have a very good copy on him. Uh, VE3KRX from KDLJ, you still here? Yeah, there we go. Hear that weak station? Now, if you long press these two buttons up here where you see contrast, you long press them, you'll get contrast, and you can go up or down. Long press them again, and you can you get yeah, this screen, okay. which I is where you can do some audio tapering no. and yeah, thanks for the uh, phase reversal. Um, now, once you've got it in okay, either did, mode, did you all you got to do is tap one, and it'll bring it back up, and then tap again, and you can cycle through. So right now, I'm cycling through the uh, audio tapering. So normally, I'm on clear. But I want to show you show you something. When you've got a weak station, go to loudness, and it'll add a little more body to to them uh, to their audio. And it's similar to a loudness con control on a um, car stereo uh, or home stereo. When you're listening at a lower volume, you see our ears are not linear; uh, they're logarithmic. So. At louder volumes, we hear lows and highs better. At lower volumes, our ears taper off and we don't hear the lows and highs very well. So a loudness control will, will um, it's essentially a pre-programmed EQ that boosts the lows and the highs when we're listening at a lower volume. And same thing here, if, if you're listening to a weak station, uh, loudness will help bring them out a little bit, listen. See, there's clear, and he's practically not there. Mild, soft, that takes highs off. And then there's loudness. So there's clear. Mild, soft, those are just cutting highs. And loudness. And now, while he's talking, I'm going to go to phase reversal. And what phase reversal does is, is gives everything space. So let me turn it off a second. So there's a weaker station without it. There we go. Kick in phase reversal. See, without it. Without it. Their voice and the noise are in about the same place, spatially. You know, as in like panning to your ears. I'm listening right between the speakers. Phase reversal on. Spreads everything out a little bit. Gives it, gives it its own space. Um, and again, back to music in the recording industry. Uh, after they mix an album, they will um, they'll send it to a mastering lab. And what the mastering lab does is uh, a final touch so you may have had things panned you know left and right and things like that um, the mastering lab just takes that another step beyond and it gives everything its own space so this phase reversal is is a similar effect it's spreading things out a little bit so the the weak station that i was hearing has his own space and the noise is somewhere else uh you know spatially so uh, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool feature. And again, you just tap either of these buttons and it brings up this option and then you cycle through. And in this case for phase reversal, phase reversal off, phase reversal on. And uh, now it's CW out there. Well, so loudness, clear, mild, soft. And again, mild and soft are just taking some of the highs off. 
All right, now I'm gonna go from soft to loudness. Catch it when he's sending again. And you can you can hear it. Hopefully, it's translating through the phone. What loudness is doing is adding fullness. Now it's doing it by boosting lows and highs. So here's normal or clear, mild, tapering a little bit highs off, soft. There we go, taking even more highs off. and then loudness. Let me catch a conversation. Well, we got some kind of strange heterodyne here. Somewhere in 920 hertz. Thank you, manual notch. Okay, here we go. Fairly weak station. Okay, now there is no phase reversal, and there's clear, mild, soft, loudness. Clear, normal, mild, soft, loudness. So if you're listening to somebody who's got maybe a shrill voice, you might like mild or soft. And again, it, all you got to do is reach up here and tap, and it'll do the last thing you had it set on. If you long press, it's contrast. So if you come up here and you tap, you get contrast. I always leave mine set to the audio tapering. So now all I have to do is just tap the left and then cycle through clear, uh, clear mild, soft, so anyway, loudness. It's, been, uh, it's been a little up and down as far as propagation goes, but not a bad cue. So, so when you're listening to a really weak is, uh, signal, he's shit. not. So, uh, so that's um, good. See if I can find it. These guys are bouncing back and forth between CW and audio. Looking up, looking on the scope, I don't see too much up up the band. There we go. Okay, so phase reversal's off. There's clear. Mild. Soft. Loudness. See how that brought him out? Clear. Mild. Soft loudness. Now I'm going to add phase reversal. No phase reversal. If you're sitting here in front of the radio like I am, no phase reversal kind of puts their voice and the noise together. The noise floor. Now, there we go. Phase reversal on and it spread everything out. He has his own space. The noise has its own space. So really cool. Try those out if you've got an SM5000, uh, of course, with your FTDX5000. Um, the, the audio tapering feature, the phase reversal feature, really is what makes this worth the price. Uh, the scope's nothing fancy, but, you know, I, I, all I ask of a scope is um, little blips like that to let me know what's up and down the band and how strong it is. I'm not don't care about 3D or you know waterfalls and all of that. So that's all I ask out of that anyway. The big advantage to this guy to me is the audio tapering. Okay, um, hope you find that helpful and informative. Um, this is uh, N4H&H saying 73.